Hello, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install RDPilot and run the built-in software in the loop simulation that comes with RDPilot. But first off, I want to go over how I want to structure my videos. So my videos uh, are going to be little bite-sized nuggets of information um, that are going to be about five minutes just to keep it as simple as possible uh, and just go over small little topics at a time. Um, also, I'm structuring my videos uh, so that um, people with uh, the lowest amount of skill uh, can still take in the information. Um, I know that the drone community is a really interesting community just because it has a bunch of different uh, specializations that are put together. So you have people that are really good at code, you have people that are really good at uh, building the machines and designing the machines, uh, and then people that are really good pilots and, uh, uh, and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to try and take um, all those different backgrounds in into mind when I'm designing the tutorials uh, and so I'm just gonna try to take it as slow as possible if it's too basic for you go feel free to speed me up or go ahead and skip ahead um, and so with that in mind let's get into it so first of all um, what we're gonna do is install RDPilot and then we're gonna run it using the software in the loop simulation so what software in the loop simulation uh, basically is is it's a virtual way to fly the drone um, and this is really useful when you're trying to come up with new missions or change the software or uh, basically just try new things with the drone uh, software wise um, and it basically allows you to not have to use your drone in real life and risk uh, damaging it or hurting somebody or just uh, yeah, basically that. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install RDPilot and uh, the software in the loop simulation. Um, so in the link down below, I have a link to uh, my GitHub. Um, and we're going to be going through installing RDPilot and Map Proxy. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to open up uh, a terminal. Um, to open up a terminal, you can do Control Alt T and get a new terminal, or you can come down here, click this button, and then hit T E R, and then just click on the terminal. Um, I like to lock mine to the launcher, or by doing the uh, add to favorites. Of course, mine says removed from favorites, but I like to have it here so that I can just click on it whenever I need it. Um, so the first step is to go ahead and clone the GitHub. Uh, repository RDPilot, which is the flight stack. So we'll go ahead and copy that, so control C and then to paste in control shift V. So now we're going to go ahead and grab all the code. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead in this video just because my internet connection is a little slow, so I'll see you in a sec. Alright, perfect. Now that the uh, code has been downloaded and is on our computer, we're going to go ahead and change directories into um, the folder with the code. So we're going to do cd rdu pilot. And you can tab complete that by just pressing tab and then enter. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check out the latest version, which as of right now is Copter 3.6, um, but that, that'll change in the future and you'll have to look up uh, what what version of Articopter is on. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in the future, but for now just do uh, git checkout copter 3.6. Alright, so now we're on copter 3.6 and we're going to go ahead and uh, pull all the code in the sub modules. So control C and then control shift V back into the terminal. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video just because my internet connection is a little slow. Great, now that we've gotten all the code from the different submodules, we're going to go ahead and install all the, de all the dependencies that uh, this project uh, depends on. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and copy this line, control C, and then control shift V back into the terminal, and type in our password, and uh, hit um, 
you can either type Y or you can hit enter and it should go ahead and install all that stuff. So once again, cutting and I'll be back in a sec. Perfect. So once we have all the different uh, dependencies, dependencies from apt, we're going to have to go and get the dependencies uh, from pip. And pip is a Python specific package manager. So to get these, we're just going to go ahead and control C and then control shift V back into our terminal. So it's going to go ahead and grab those and see you in a sec. All right, so now that we've got all the dependencies, uh, we need to go ahead and uh, set up some global variables so that when we go ahead and uh, build RDPilot, um, the compiler can go ahead and find all the different paths to the software that it needs. So we're going to go ahead and edit the .bashrc, and the .bashrc is a is a file that gets run every time you log in, and it basically sets these global variables um, so that your different software packages can find where dependencies are. So go ahead and do gedit um, dot bashrc, um, and you can just copy and paste just as I'm doing right now. So then it'll pull up uh, your dot bashrc, and then you'll want to scroll all the way to the bottom, and then paste these two lines right into the bottom. Control V and then save, close that. And uh, in order to get the, the global variables to set, we're gonna have to go ahead and run this file. And you'll, ha you'll do that by doing dot and then uh, the file. So, just, or you can go ahead and copy and paste as I'm doing right now. All right, so perfect. Now that we have all the global variables set, we have all the dependencies, we can go ahead and build RDCopter. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we're going to change directories into RDPilot and then change directories into RDCopter. And then we're gonna run the simvehicle.py, which is uh, basically the software in the loop. And then that'll go ahead and build the whole um, fly stack. So let's go ahead and do that. Control C, Control Shift B. And then now sim vehicle.py and then the dash w wipes all the different uh, parameters that you would have had in there, but I guess that doesn't really matter at this point. And this is going to take a second, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut to the end and then just explain what we just did. All right, perfect. So RDPilot is built and now it's running the software in the loop simulation. But you're probably wondering, what the heck is this? Uh, this doesn't make any sense to me. A bunch of, a bunch of nonsense just popped up on the screen. Um, and that's okay at this point. Um, basically, all you need to know is that RDPilot's running, um, it's simulating the physics and it's simulating uh, the different sensors that are critical to flight and we can go ahead and start testing stuff. Um, essentially, here in your terminal, you have a very, very basic uh, ground station that you can issue different commands uh, to the drone with, and this is basically the way that you could uh, interact with your drone. Um, in the next video, I'm going to be going over how to use a different ground station that's much more easier to use, and this is a ground station that you would actually use when you're flying outside. Um, this one's a little bit more advanced, uh, but for now, uh, we have our software in the loop simulation working, so in the next video, I'm going to I'm going to show you how we can use this and how it's useful. All right, see you in the next one.